Hello everyone, Shinto Bean here playing some more Warhammer combat cards. It's been a couple days since I last uploaded anything, and I actually got a new device that I'm playing on. Now uh, this is a tablet. Up until now I've been using my phone, which is kind of a piece of junk, so the, the audio and visual quality was really not that great. Uh, the audio had a tendency to cut out at times, and the video would sometimes lag. Uh, but the game is definitely running smoother on this tablet. It looks pretty good on the big screen, I'm, I will say. Uh, so that's a good sign. Uh, the one thing, though, is I think my phone still has the better microphone. Uh, I tested this out a little earlier, and my voice just doesn't sound quite as clear uh, when I'm recording on this tablet. So, I don't know, you can let me know if you can tell any difference, and uh, if... It's too distracting here, then maybe I might switch back to the phone. But I'm hoping to continue recording on this thing. So, uh, another minor difference uh, is that I actually had to tap on the screen to keep it awake uh, on my phone. And I have to do the same thing here, actually. Uh, because if the phone uh, screen turns off, then the screen recorder will also stop recording. And that happened a number of times when I was in the middle of recording a video, and then the screen turns off, and then... It just shuts off, so I had to redo everything from the start, and that was really frustrating. Um, but uh, you could actually see where I was tapping on the screen be before. Um, it might have been a little distracting, but that's why I was doing that. But now uh, it doesn't actually show where I am tapping on the screen, so uh, I think that's a, a minor improvement. So looking at my ranked factions... Uh, I know I said I wasn't going to play much orcs this season, but I just had to uh, use Captain Badruck for that ranged duel that was uh, available between campaigns. Um, yeah, but Captain Badruck is just the way to go to deal the most damage as quickly as possible. But looking at the campaigns for this week, uh, we've got two by the looks of it. Uh, the first one is Necrons vs. Tau. And the second one is Tau versus Servants of the Emperor, so should be interesting. And I, I just noticed this, uh, just popped up a few minutes ago, the Barracuda. Uh, now this is a legendary Tau uh, flyer, and it is very powerful. It looks, looks like it's basically uh, pretty similar to Long Strike, which was uh, for a long time the most powerful ranged uh, vehicle in the Tau arsenal. Uh, unfortunately, it was uh, locked behind the uh, limited edition status. So even uh, though I've been playing the game for almost a year and a half, I still do not have a single copy of Long Strike. However, it doesn't look like I'll need him anymore, thanks to this Barracuda. Uh, and you can actually get five copies of it in this campaign, which is quite generous. Five copies of a legendary from a single campaign is not bad at all. So looking forward to that Tau campaign. And let's see what's in the shop. They have a Necron bundle, uh, which you can also get some extra coins. They've been pretty generous about the uh, the Warlord packs, too, with the past few campaigns, offering several options. Uh, for this one, they had uh, three options, and I, I purchased two of them already uh, for the Necron Warlords, so that was pretty nice. So let's go ahead and play a game. I got Captain Badruck again. And from the last campaign, I was actually able to get the last copy I needed to upgrade the Gorkonaut to level 3. So at long last, uh, I've been waiting for this moment for a long time. I really loved the card, but it just was not good uh, for its cost. But now it finally has uh, enough health to justify using it. Uh, and it has the firepower uh, to work well with Captain Badra. I got the Dakajet as well. And then, kind of a, a different sort of setup than I usually have. We've got a flash kit here, uh, the mech gun with Big Game Hunter, and then Makari, the greatest grot with his inspiring presence. So, we'll see how this setup works in ranked mode. Um, I don't think it's as good as the typical setup that I have with uh, the Daka Jet and the two other buggies. And we'll see how it works against Psychic Chaos. I think I did play a game against uh, against Ariman the other day and beat him pretty easily with Bad Ruck, but I'm not sure if this will do as well. So they have the initiative. 
They're deploying some psychers to the field. Got uh, Typhus. Okay, and my uh, Gorkonaut is not showing up. Gonna need him on the field for sure. All right, let's put him down. I think we'll just put him down over here on the right. Don't really want him to get poisoned on the first turn, so we'll just let the mech gun take the hit from that. And Ariman healing up that Psyker on the left. The mech gun gets poisoned, and uh, they're dealing some damage here. Alright, time for our first ranged volley, so the Daka Jet will be able to fire again, dealing an extra 50 damage to Typhus, and then the Gorkonaut unable to take down that pink horror. And they're deploying another Sorcerer to the field, and Armon is really getting lucky with his special rule, getting the 20 healing and 20 damage uh, every time so far. And once again, that that's pretty crazy. Okay. Alright, time for round two. Gorgonaut will this time be able to destroy uh, the pink horror. And so it comes back because it has endless. And the Gorgonaut will fire once again, destroying it again, allowing it to fire one more time, and then another time as well. And if that had survived, it would have been able to fire again. So that was actually four shots from the Gorgonaut. Uh, which is always uh, entertaining. That was that was pretty amazing. Gotta love that Gorkonaut uh, when it combos with uh, Captain Badrock's ability. It's quite strong. I forgot to check what level these guys are. Uh, Araimon is at level three, and uh, the Lord of Change also at level three. So not not too bad. All right, we'll just put down this guy in the middle and keep firing away. Gorkonaut still has plenty of health, so it will be able to shrug off those psychic attacks from uh, the Lord of Change, no problem. Although, I guess I could have just shifted it over to the center and ended the game just now. But, yeah. So, yeah, this deck is definitely... I mean, going range bad rook against Ariman is a pretty one-sided, I think. Uh, this... I, I, the game that I played right before this, I ended up losing, although that was actually due to poor positioning. I was up against Tyranids that time. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it is quite fun, and it's a departure from the old uh, buggy combo, so it is nice to have a different option for Captain Badrock, and it looks like they have uh, another reminder that they have uh, reduced the cost of upgrading cards. Uh, so that was already in effect, but it is until the end of February, which is actually a really long time. And if you play the game regularly, you can get a whole lot of upgrades in uh, during this time. So I've already upgraded tons of cards, uh, including several high-level legendaries that I had in my collection. Uh, still holding off on Captain Badrock. Uh, but, but yeah, that's a, definitely a very welcome discount. Anyway, let me know what you think and... Uh, if you can tell a difference between the audio quality of this and my previous videos and which one you think uh, sounds better, uh, I'd like any feedback on that. But as always, thanks for watching and I will see you next time.